the family of Baton Rouge's beloved African American museum founder plans to celebrate her life next week. Sadie Roberts Joseph's family says there will be a public ceremony Monday morning at 10 at the Living Faith Christian Center in Baton Rouge. The plans come as we learn more about the man suspected in her murder. NBC Local 33's Harrison Golden is here with those new details. Harrison. Dion, police are still narrowing down their angles tonight, trying to figure out what may have led to Roberts Joseph's murder. But despite those mysteries on motives, those who loved the woman they lost are at least glad police have a suspect. The Baton Rouge Police Department arrested Ron Germain Bell. And the 38-year-old charged with first-degree murder is no stranger to law enforcement. He was arrested in 2005 in the rape of an 8-year-old girl. Two years later, a deal with the victim's family led Bell to plead guilty to a lesser charge of sexual battery. He served his full sentence of seven years in prison, getting out roughly five years ago. However, since he is a sex offender, he must require by all of the rules and regulations and statutes that are in place to register and to pay certain amounts of fees. Those fees had gone unpaid since 2017, according to documents we've obtained, which claim Bell owes $2,423 to the state corrections department. Failure to pay is a misdemeanor, and officers arrested Bell on that Monday. And that was the uh, warrant that he was picked up for in this case. Bell was already in jail on those missed payments when police Tuesday tacked on a murder charge, claiming the state police crime lab found his DNA on Robert Joseph's body. We still don't have a complete solid motive at this time, and the motive is still under investigation. What police do suspect is that Bell also owed money to Robert Joseph, who let him live in this rental house on Gacho Street. We believe that he was behind several months on his rent. We believe around $1,200 was owed. Whether Roberts Joseph knew Bell was a sex offender remains unclear. Neighbors we met didn't want to speak on camera, but said Bell stayed largely to himself. A vast difference from the vibrant mark the late 75-year-old left. And as much as I'd like to be at home right now, just wallowing in my own grief, I cannot do that to her. 